right here, I got my two newest friends. Say hey to everyone right there. What's hey. up? <laughs> we are right here in Texas, and man, I'm still have still pumping the gas right as we speak um, from the last one that I showed you guys. But these are two awesome ladies, and I have just been having a lot of fun. And I actually have a story about this lady right here. Tina Hardy didn't know that when she went to work the Burger King drive-through last week, she would be helping a woman in a time of crisis. She now hopes this will encourage others to get out of their comfort zone and reach out to those who need it, no matter the situation. It just means so much. Rebecca Baining has diabetes and suffers from a neurological pain disorder. She was traveling down I-40 last week when all of a sudden it hit her. In no time, just a matter of minutes, I started shaking and sweating and, and when my sugar drops, I can't think. Her blood sugar was dropping dangerously low, so she pulled off at I-40 in Western and went straight to the nearest Burger King. I started to order, but my mind just wasn't working. That's when Tina Hardy came over the intercom. She was slurring her words and had a shaky voice. I knew that she needed that ice cream quickly. Um, she saved someone, um, and, and just tell them a little bit about, about what happened. I had a diabetic customer come through my drive through window while I worked at Burger King and I could tell she was having a problem so when she ordered ice cream and a coke and told me that her blood sugar was low I knew she needed help so I ran the ice cream out to her and then when she came to my window I gave her her coke and I asked her to park across the parking lot from me so I could keep an eye on her. And when she felt better, about 20, 30 minutes later, she came back through the window, took my picture, and thanked me. And then a few days later, a friend of mine in South Texas sent me a link, and it was Low Burger King Hero. The next thing I know, I look up, and this wonderful woman is running down the side of the building in the parking lot towards my car. She was practically climbing over my hood and she squeezed between the building and my car and she handed me a cup of ice cream. Tina then asked her to stay in the parking lot so she could keep an eye on her. Sometimes you have to call 911 and get an insulin shot and it, if something would have went wrong, at least I would have been able to tell the paramedics why and what happened. Tina later explained her husband was also diabetic and she knew right away that Rebecca needed help. Rebecca says she spoke with the manager about the good deed, but didn't feel like it did the situation justice. She took a picture of me, and I had no idea why. I thought maybe she just wanted it for a memory. More than half a million likes and over 225,000 shares later, Tina's good deed was trending on Facebook. The ladies now hope their social media story will encourage others to give back this holiday season. Anybody that feels like doing a good deed or has the opportunity, please do. You don't have to be rewarded for it, but if you feel it in your heart, do it. And see guys, stuff like that, I mean, it doesn't take much of your time to help out somebody. She saved someone's life. And man, oh my gosh. Where to, Wallace? There we go. Thank you so much. Y'all take care. If it's on your heart, and you can do it, do it. Make a difference and change someone's life. We are all part of one consciousness. We all must be there for each other. We're two Wallace.